Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we will explore how to modify our Flutter apps theme using animated transitions similar to the captivating ones employed by Telegram. The feature we will add will enable the theme to switch between two modes, the circular mode and the square mode. If you are having a good time watching the video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Let me begin by presenting some pre-writing codes. In the main file, we have material app to initialize our app. In the home view, I have created a basic user interface to showcase the theme changes as we modify them. By the way, you can access the source code of this app on my GitHub page. The link is provided in the description. In the theme file, I have constructed a theme class housing configuration for both dark and light themes. Each theme utilizes the theme data class encompassing properties like scaffold background color, distinct text theme, primary and secondary colors, and more. Following this, we should incorporate an animated switcher package into our pubspec.yml file and ensure we execute Flutter pub get to obtain all the project dependencies. Then, within the main file, we replace the theme provider class with material app. The theme provider class requires two crucial parameters. The initial theme as the first parameter and its builder as the second parameter. In the init theme parameter, we need to provide the theme we desire to implement in our application as the initialized theme. This enables the app to load either light or dark mode whenever a user opens it. Within the builder, we must return our material app. In the theme parameter of material app, we pass the theme variable obtained from the builder. This theme variable represents the most recent and updated theme class altered by the user. Back in the home view, we will wrap the scaffold with theme switcher area. This widget tells the theme switcher that we want to change our app's theme in this particular area and expect the theme to update accordingly. And then we should obtain both the light and dark theme classes for our future use. In the app bar widget, we use the theme switcher widget as the leading parameter. This widget is from the animated theme switcher package. In the builder parameter, we are returning our icon button. We use theme mode inherited notifier that of context that theme that brightness provided by the animated theme switcher package. This help us check our app's current brightness mode. If the brightness is light, we display the moon icon. Otherwise, we show a sun icon. And in the onPress parameter of our icon button, first we create a variable called brightness. That is, it saves the latest brightness mode of the app. We use the theme switcher to change theme function to switch our app's theme. This function requires two crucial parameters. The first one is the desired theme we want to switch to, and the second one is a Boolean variable called is reverse. For the theme parameter, we use a simple conditional statement. If the brightness is light, we change the app theme to dark. Otherwise, we set it to light. The main purpose of the is reverse variable is straightforward. When set it to true, it enables the reverse mode during theme changes, altering the visual effect. However, when it's set to false, theme changes occur without any additional reverse effect, remaining unchanged in a simple manner. And finally, there is a parameter called clipper that affects the clipper and theme change effect. If you set it to theme switcher box clipper, it will generate a box effect during your theme change animation. And if you change it to theme switcher circular clipper, a circular effect will be visible during the theme changes. And that wraps up today's tutorial. If you find it helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for future tutorials. Until the next one, take care.